Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at all of the mods that I use to enhance the aesthetic of my Sims 4 game, as well as a bunch of my favorite overrides for objects that my Sims use in my everyday gameplay. These are my Sims that I'll be using for this showcase. Their names are Zara, who's on the right, and Sage, who's on the left. And they both use she, her pronouns, and in my current household, and I'm a little bit obsessed, so I figured that they would be perfect for this video. They run a live-in cafe and bakery using Little Miss Sam's live-in business mod, which is amazing, and I'll link for you as well. But let me know if any of you guys would be interested in a little bit of gameplay with them, because they have some drama going on with Sage's older sister and also the friend group that they're in, so yeah, just let me know if any of you would be interested in a proper current household video. Starting off, I just wanted to show you the G shade that I've been using for the past few months. It is Aries by Urban Sims, and it is definitely a very drastic reshade in my opinion. If I, I can toggle it with this key and you can see the difference in how it looks. And in my opinion, it totally changes the look of everything. And personally, I live for that. It's my favorite G-Shade preset that I've ever used and I highly recommend it. In order to pull up the G-Shade menu, I just have to hit shift backspace. And when you download it, it will tell you how to pull it up when you launch your game. I don't think I've altered this preset at all much besides possibly adding in this option to um toggle the mxao which is your shadows and that will look like this difference and i'm also not sure if i added this in myself or if urban sims made this in the preset but this shift f5 toggle will add this like beautiful cinematic blur to the background like this and i love this for photos but yeah, it really is just a beautiful G-shade and it makes the game look so realistic and detailed and the nature with this preset just looks insanely gorgeous. So yeah, thank you to Urban Sims Jen for this amazing preset. I also use the Sunblind Lighting Mod by Softer Haze and this has definitely become a staple in the Sims community lately, at least from what I've seen. I could be wrong, but... I've just seen so many people using this on Tumblr. It's an in-game lighting overhaul and it really makes a huge difference in the outside environment and it just looks so good. The combination of the G-Shade that I've been using and this Sunblind lighting overhaul, like I am just obsessed with how it looks and this is coming from someone who for like, I don't know, maybe eight-ish years, had a, a very bad computer that could barely handle The Sims vanilla, so being able to make my game look so aesthetic to me just makes me so happy. I also use No Glow and No Blue by Lumia, and those basically just fix the blue tint that's on everything in this game and help make everything blend together well and your Sims won't be glowing when they're outside or anything. You may also notice that some of the terrain and textures around my world look different, and these are all K-Hippie mods, and this changes almost all of the ground, grass, dirt, all that kind of stuff around the environment to look a lot more detailed and less flat and lifeless, in my opinion. For a long time, I only used their terrain override for the grass and stuff, but somewhat recently, I downloaded the builder and the architect stuff, and I really like how it changes the roof and foundation textures in build mode and especially because it looks similar but just very much improved, which is what I really like. I'm also using the Studio Ghibli Cloud Override by Miko and these just make your in-game clouds look so fluffy and beautiful and I think that a lot of people swear by these as well. I've just really seen them making the rounds over the past few years or whatever, but just like the Sunblind Lighting mod, there's a reason that they are so loved by the community and that's because they're beautiful. I've had them in my game for a long time now and I haven't even thought about taking them out or anything because they're just so, so beautiful.
The font that I have in my game is actually from The Sims 2 and is made by The Pancake One and Missouri Yukis. And while I haven't played a ton of The Sims 2 myself, considering I was like three years old when The Sims 2 came out, it does feel very nostalgic to me and I love the way that it looks. You can see it over here next to Zara's Emotion and yeah, it's just so classic Sims to me. I really like for my game to look realistic most of the time, but there are certain more cartoony classic Sims things that I really like and this is one of them. I do own all of the Sims 2 collection though from when they were giving it away for free a while back and I have played it a fair amount so don't come for me. It's just a bit difficult to get it to run so. I also use a sound override on the Whims feature from The Sims 2 and I think it just sounds so cute in comparison to the one in game and it also just feels so nostalgic and classic sims to me so I love that. So if I go over to one of Zara's whims and I just complete it, you can hear that sound and ugh, I'm obsessed. I also have another sound override from The Sims 3 and all of these sound effects were made by the same creators who made the font so I love them for that. And this sound really hits for me because I was obsessed with The Sims 3 as a child. So it's on the pie menu and if I click on Sage and I just click around, you can hear that pie menu sound and it is the same one from The Sims 3. I love this. The only other sound override that I use is called No Tune After Loading by Turbo Driver and this makes it so that when you load into a new lot, it doesn't play that little jingle, so that is a must-have for me. I don't want to hear that. I don't know why, but it bugs me, so. I love this mod, and I've had it in my game for so long, so it would be so weird to play without it. Another essential mod for me is The Hidden Highlight by Foggity, and ordinarily when I hover over my sim, there would be a white outline surrounding her body, and I find that to be very annoying, so this mod just gets rid of that white highlight when you hover over sims, and that is a game changer aesthetically for me. This next mod comes from Envy Games, and what it does is overrides a few of the in-game animations. So the one I'm going to show you is for the sleep failure animation. So if I unpause and I just drain her energy down, then when she falls, she lands like that. And normally the sims will land with their butts up in the air, but I just prefer this one because it is just more realistic. The girls are going out tonight with some of their friends and we're just gonna pre-game a little bit before we go. And I just thought I would show you the bar override that I use all the time. This override is by Ravishing, and it works just like a normal bar would. You can click on it and just click make drink and then your sims will come make a drink like normal. I had to flip this around because it was actually backwards and she couldn't get to it but she's just gonna make a drink like normal and yeah it is so much better than having to have a whole huge bar in an apartment. We are now at this Copperdale pub that I built and here I'm going to be showing you a few more mods and overrides. This first one is the Channel 4 Sims bar items replacement and these change the bottles and the shaker and everything that the bartender is using to look more detailed. And this version that I got is actually in Simlish so it is like Max's match and I love that. And yeah, it just makes the items look so much more realistic and detailed. Zara is over here using her phone and she has a phone case on by Apricot Rush. It is their override and it is so cute and comes in so many cute swatches that you can pick in game. And it's a little detailed, but I feel like personalizing the phones for your sims is just such a cute detail. I'm now having Zara take some selfies and these are the selfie overrides by Dear Kim and what's really cool about this set of overrides is that you can pick one of their many sets to override each emotional state. 
So I can pick a set for each of her emotions. So all of these relaxed poses are one set. All of these flirty poses are one set, etc. And so that way you can have a bunch of options for selfies in your game. And they look so much better than the ones that come in game. We also have these paired poses also by Dear Kim, and these are just everything, honestly. I love these so much, and they look so much more like just aesthetic and how you actually want them to look instead of these weird poses and angles that come in the game. Real quick, I just wanted to show you my loading screen by Apricot Rush. It's like a crystal on a wooden background and it is really, really cute. I'm just having Zara clean up the cafe a little bit and these are some more overrides by Apricot Rush. This is the cleaning spray replacement in the lemon variant. This is a sponge override again by Apricot Rush and Zara is actually using a scrub daddy, really a scrub mommy, but <laughs> yeah, it is super cute and I love the way it looks. Our next mod is this game controller override by a winged llama and the actual video game console comes with a winged llama's nostalgia living set and I pretty much always use this console when I'm playing with CC and it comes with the actual controller override too so it matches and looks like the same one that's attached there. It's obviously in the name of the item, but the controller itself and the console are both really giving nostalgia to me, so I really like them. Zara is just playing some games before bed and listening to music, and she's using these earbud overrides by Pox, and these just change the fitness stuff pack earbuds into these bigger headphones, and they just look a lot nicer in my opinion. I really like them. For my map overrides, I use two different creators. I use Der Cheyenne's maps and also 20th Century Plum Bob's maps. Depending on the world, I would pick either one of them and all of their map overrides are so good. So I recommend you check both of them out and check out all of the worlds that they've done. These are San Myshuno billboard overrides and the creator for these isn't actually active anymore. So there are re-uploads for these that I will link for you because they do add a nice realistic aesthetic for San Myshuno. This is the menu override by Vixen's Pixels and this is the brown swatch and it just overrides the restaurant menus to look cuter. I actually just did a video called must have restaurants for every Sims 4 world and I used this in that video too so I wanted to make sure I covered it in this video. Also, I forgot to say this earlier, but I use a mod called The Missing Plum Bob by Mint Valentine so that my sims won't have the plum bobs floating over their head just because I think it looks more realistic that way and I like that. That's all I have for you today. Of course, everything is linked for you in the description. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. I just love all of you and I will see you in my next video.